What is up, my dudes? This is Yard Brunt, and you're tuning in to another episode of My Lawn. Okay, so today we are gonna dink around with the MTD 20 inch lawnmower that we got. You know, I'm actually growing very fond of this lawnmower, it's actually pretty cool. So now that we're taking care of it, I'm like liking it a lot. So I noticed yesterday when I was installing the carburetor kit that it's a little shaky. So I'm gonna, you know, and it's kind of, it has that little knocking noise. And I'm either guessing that uh, it's the blades that are out of whack or, you know, the spinning mechanism. You know, it might be just super, super old. So we're gonna get- It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Get under there and check it out. So I misplaced my stone guide sharpener kit. So I went out and bought another one for just for to sharpen this blade. Um, and I see everyone using like a wood, a piece of wood. So we're gonna try that as well to undo the, the bolt. Now this one is definitely, <laughs> this guy has been on here for a little bit. You can tell cause it's a rusty, okay? So obviously I'm taking off the spark plug, but yeah, my dumb ass forgot to drain the oil. Yard know, I'm just tired that is or not an and impact there's a mess gun. on my driveway. A ridiculous. So, anywho, we uh, uh, loosen that bolt up. You know, the piece of wood does work. So if you don't have the uh, blade tool, or if you don't have like an impact wrench, or uh, sorry, impact gun, use a piece of wood and use a, uh, a bar to get some more uh, leverage. That's what I used. So, all right, we took this blade off. It is crazy rusty. Man, I can't believe it was cutting anything yesterday. Crazy. So, you know how we do. We don't have a workbench. We are just, uh, you know, gonna hand hold this thing. It's not bad when you have the stone and guide. When you're hand holding, it's not bad. It's it's not going all over the place. I put it in reverse because when I was putting it in, in, in forward mode, it would uh, loosen up the stone <laughs> from the screw. So I went in reverse mode and it worked really, really nice. The blades are now a sharp. Very, very cool. And then we balanced it with the balancer tool that it came with. Looks pretty balanced to me. Now, I'm now draining the oil. Shout out to Nicholas. Thank you for this mason jar with vinyl tubes and cut uh, water bottle that I attached to the vacuum. And it's extracting the oil. Wow, how cool is this? I, I, I can't believe anyone really thought of that. Like, that's awesome. Thank you, Nick. You are the man. So, extracting the oil, extracting the gas. I put down some kitty litter on the oil. Embarrassing. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I forgot. I forgot to do that. That's crazy. I, I was distracted by something else, I guess. But, all right. So, now that everything is tight, and good to go, we're gonna put back on the blade. So the other day, man, I should have told you guys about this. If you spent 30 bucks at Harbor Freight, they gave you a red a bucket. So I spent $30, I bought another torque wrench, half inch this time for the hefty jobs. You never know when you, you might you know, run into a hefty job and you might need a half inch drive. So I got the uh, socket kit as well and a half inch drive. A ratchet so we are gonna go ahead and make sure that you know you're, you're, you're placing the uh, parts back correctly and then I am also going to torque this down recommendation is 40 pounds to 50 pounds foot feet of torque foot feet of torque foot pounds of torque <laughs> 40 to 50 foot pounds of torque so go ahead and do that once you hear that click, uh, yeah, you know you're safe. All right, cool. Yeah, look at that piece of cardboard. Should have done that in the beginning, okay? So if you're doing something like this, cardboard it up, a drain your goods, or just tilt it back a little bit. But even then, sometimes it might leak. Just drain it. And it's always, you know, it's always good to have, I mean, the gas, you can save the gas. The oil, just replace it every time if, if you do you know how often do you sh you know I mean yeah you can tilt it back I've done that but this is way easier tilt it on the side 
drain it, good to go. All right, man, this thing is fun. No joke, it is like my new, oh, I can't say that. It's pretty fun, guys. This is a fun little lawnmower. Now, it is a lot smoother since we balanced out the blade, but it's still a little, you know, crusty. I'm gonna, do I wanna tear it apart and put some grease all over everything? Uh, kind of, kind of. Because as I'm turning the blade, you can hear it, it's kind of crunchy. And I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it, it's just working a little too hard, so it's a little too loud. Or maybe this thing's just really loud and it's just on a small body. I don't know, it, I, but I like it. I like this thing. It's like a Chevy S10 with a V8. You know what I mean? It's like a uh, uh, Ford Ranger with a Triton V10. No, I'm just kidding. It's like a Ford Ranger with also a V8. It's fun. It's cool. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna debadge them, take off all the stickers, give them a good wax job, <laughs> maybe even paint his rims. You never know. But yeah, this thing is growing on me. I like it. I don't mind the side discharge anymore. I just, you know, blow it off. Little blow action, if you know what I mean. And then, yeah, guys, starts right up. Er, er, time. All day. All day long starts it up. It's a nice little lawnmower. You catch my drift. <laughs> All right, my dudes. Thank you so much for tuning in. The weather is uh, gonna be nice for the next week. We're, we're looking at 60s almost. So cross your fingers for some germination. We'll catch you in the next video. Back it easy. <laughs>